Hello, I'm Edward Tart, math teacher. This is a solution video for my math challenge square triangular numbers. In that challenge I pointed out that for example 9 is a square number because 9 marbles can be arranged in rows and columns in a square. 10 is an example of a triangular number. Notice that uh, these 10 marbles are arranged in the form of a triangle. 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1. 9 is a square number but not triangular. 10 is a triangular number but not square. But as I said, there are numbers that are both square and triangular. The first such number in counting order is the trivial example 1 which is both square and triangular. And the challenge was find the next two numbers that are both square and triangular. Well, undoubtedly there's more than one way to solve this challenge. One way is to realize that any triangular number can be expressed as geometrically a rectangle in which one dimension is one unit larger than the other, divided by two. For example, the triangular number 10 can be arranged as this black part along with this red part, that's 10 plus 10, which makes 20, which is 4 times 5 divided by 2 the 5 being one bigger than the 4. We could express that in this formula n times n plus 1 divided by 2. Well, what that suggests to me is looking at a list of square numbers like this. I have here a list of square numbers there in the right hand column going from 1 squared which is 1 through 10 squared which is 100. I notice the square number 9. Right next to 9 in counting order is 8, one below it, and 10, which is one above it. Well, 8, which is one below it, is double a square number. That is, half of 8 is 4, and 4 also is a square number. So what we have here is 9 times 8 divided by 2. That satisfies the formula for a triangular number, but this is 8 divided by 2, which is 4, so that's 9 times 4. Both 9 and 4 are square numbers. They are 3 squared times 2 squared. Well, that's 3 times 2 squared, which is 6 squared, which is 36. So 36 is not only a triangular number, but it's also a square number. And indeed, here are geometric representations. 36 as a square number, 36 as a triangular number. As a triangular number, it's 8 plus 7 plus 6 plus 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1. So I found 9. That was the basis for my first example. I keep looking and I find 49. One bigger than 49 is 50. Half of 50 is 25, which is another square number. So this will be our next example of finding a number that is both square and triangular. What we have here is 49 times 50 divided by 2. The 50 is what I divide by 2. I get 49 times 25. 49 is 7 squared. 25 is 5 squared. So 7 squared times 5 squared is 7 times 5 squared. That's 35 squared, which is 1,225. So that is the next number after 36 that is both square and triangular. In the challenge, I did not ask you for the next number after that, but I'm going to show it to you here, going a step beyond what I asked for. The next 
one in the list of square numbers that fits is 289. Next to it is 288. Half of 288 is the square number 144. So we have 289 times 288 divided by 2, which is 289 times 144, which is 17 squared times 12 squared. That's 17 times 12 squared, which is 204 squared, and that is 41,616. So that's the next number after 1,225 that is both triangular and square. So there you have my solution to my triangular square numbers challenge. Thank you for watching this solution video.